show you how you still have it Don't look back on life and, and only see tragic figures You can be better than that than any Spending the day, yeah, yeah. Case of tomorrow, that come what may. Because you can be better than that. The day to be better of you. What can be better than that? It's not about what's better than you. You can be better than that. The day to be better of you. What can be better than that? It's not about what's better than you. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes. Yes, things can be hard Fucking me, but I do feel a, some a little bit of divinity, a little bit of a little bit of magic, a little bit of wonder, and when I feel that, I, I fucking I feel peace. 
The other thing I'm really fascinated about faith is it's what you believe turns into your reality. It's like putting on some glasses. And once you put on those glasses, it's like the algorithm. It just keeps on showing you more and more and more of it until you see the world that way. It's a story that you subscribe to, that you believe. And I think the power of belief is extremely powerful. That two people can look at the same thing and see two different things because of their beliefs in here and in here. So, between the wonder and the I don't know and the power of belief, I am fascinated. I am fascinated by faith and I am a believer in belief. Now, I'm not sure what the fuck it is and I'm not here to tell you about it. But I've been looking because it's my journey. I'm looking. I'm not too sure if it's a white guy with a white beard in a white cloud looking down at me, going, don't touch it. Don't enjoy that. <laughs> don't, 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 no. Maybe, I, I, I don't know. Some people believe in the bald guy, big earlobes, a little hefty. Hangs out in your uh, garden and laughs at you all day. Buddha, cool. Believe in that. That's what you want. Some people find it hugging a tree. Probably me. Some people find it on mushrooms and LSD. Probably me and that guy over there. Some believe that Elvis Presley will return one day and save us all. Fuck, I don't know. All I do know is when I do feel it, when I get those moments, usually out in nature, I feel hope. I feel hope. I feel less fear of you and less fear of me. And that's, I mean, hallelujah to that. So wherever you find it, if you find it in a church, a, a synagogue, a mosque, a football game, dancing to Missy Elliott at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah! Pick a game down, flip it and reverse it. Fuck yeah. Wherever you find it, I just hope you have a little bit of a little bit of wonder, a little bit of hope, a little bit of knowing that you're not alone in all this chaos. And even if you believe in nothing at all, and you put your faith in nothing, that is still putting your belief and faith in something, which is interesting. This is my trip, it's not your trip. So stay away from my mushrooms. <laughs> Thank you. 
to my world This world in the world is in the world we live Sometimes it's like a life after another down It's like a city of bed where they know Young is crumbling down We only get dry but they go to keep my roots clear on the ground it's a feel-good number. <laughs> yeah! yeah! Intergenerational trauma! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Okay, stay with me. Stay with me. I'll tell you a story. It's my story. It's a, it's a story of my, my family. In 1958, in 1958, January 2nd, 1958, in a small, small country town, in the southwest of Western Australia, there was a town called Nanup. There is still a town called Nanup. Nanup is an indigenous word. It is the native Australian language in the southwest. Up means place of. Nan means stop, rest. This is a place to stop and rest, Nanup. And um, in that town, my grandmother and my grandfather lived with their eight kids. And one year, in 1958, there was a massive, massive bushfire huge, like buildings, buildings high, massive. And my grandfather, John Francis Wiltshire Butler, went out to fight that fire with a whole community of people, and he and three other men did not return. They perished in that bushfire. And, um, and as you can imagine, uh, he, uh, a father leaving a widow with eight children behind, the youngest being one, the eldest being ten. Um, you can imagine that that at that moment, it's like um, it's like a sheet of glass that is your family shattering, and it and it and it burns its way into your into your fingerprint, and into your soul, and into your genes. And so, in our family, there's all kinds of wacky, all kinds of wacky depression, anxiety, bipolar, all that untreated trauma. Anyway. Feel good. Feel good. <laughs> Stay with me, man. We're gonna go on all the rides, man. All the rides. So I was at my dad's one day. My dad died two years ago during COVID, and um, but before he passed away, I was visiting him. I was coming back from Europe on, from tour. I stopped by his place and say, hey, "Pops, how you going? I'm here in the morning. Let me cook you some breakfast. Let me cook you some food." He said, "No, man. No, 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 no. Just let me get started. Just let me get started." I was like, okay, get started then. So the way my dad used to get started was he'd pop a methadone tablet. He would swig it down with some coffee and he'd light a cigarette. Now I don't know if you know what you call methadone, but methadone in Australia is like the thing right under heroin. It's a heavy, 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 heavy painkiller. My dad, my dad was a carpenter, he was a builder. So he was all fucked up, man. He was all fucked up, and he he, uh, he was in pain. But pain is a funny thing. Where pain starts, where it starts, where where its roots, where its tentacles go. And I reckon a lot of that pain started in January second, nineteen fifty eight. This song is called Coffee, Methadone, Cigarettes. <laughs>
In summer of 58, when the innocence shattered and broke, the tree, the egg, the nest, the breast, the yolk. And those thieving flames took my granddad from my pa. And ever since then, we've been mending all those scars. Both the bandages and knowing wins ain't the need. He's still waking up with coffee with the dawn cigarettes. That broken bird somehow. Well, let's try this. Well, here we are just sinking in the ocean of outer space. A big old storm is coming that none of us we want to face. You see, it's all so inconvenient while we're pimping out our tombs. And no one wants to chase that elephant out of the room. And all them pay dirt cowboys getting high on our supplies. Drilling needles in the veins and poking holes up in the sky. And I know we are not angels, we are addicts all the same. The dealer and the junkie will be burnt by the same flame. Don't ask me why. We don't use our wings to fly. And Santa Claus, he's moving his sweat shop onto a boat. It's getting melting hotter than he's decided he's gonna float. And our eyes do sting and our ears do ring from the sirens and the smoke. While the skeptics live in bubbles, calling it all a hoax. You see, round and round the world keeps turning. Between the floods, the fires keep burning. Waiting for some savior to come, I don't even know why. We're sick and tired of feeling so alone. Anxiety breaking our bones. We've been given these wings to fly, but we choose to die. Don't ask me why. We don't use our wings to fly. And every four years or so, there's a commotion on TV. You get to pick between two clowns, and they say, Please won't you vote for me? And they mince their words and they sing like birds starting polarizing fires and so we, we separate like sheep controlled by their desires. Fuck that. Well, we the generation that grow like weeds through the concrete. You better wrap up all your blisters and put some boots back upon your feet. For those old men, those old men, they won't be around to save us with their lives. It's sink or swim, die with them. Watch those waters rise and because Tired of feeling so alone, anxiety breaking our bones. We've been given these wings to fly, but we choose to die. Don't ask me why. We don't use our wings to fly.
pray for rain Cause it's been so long since I've been myself your friend
I just wanna, I, I wanna, I wanna thank uh, a whole group of people who helped me do what I do to the best of my ability. Can you give it up for Mr. Tim Milliken on sound? Yo. Can you give it up for Kevin? He's a local crew here. Give it up for Kevin. And last but not least, can you give it up for Shukriyo?
make me sadder every day I'm gonna shoot those little motherfuckers down From my positivity to the wind Cause it doesn't really matter who you listen to Or who you gonna vote me Nothing really stops me or anybody else From going 